Hello everyone. I uh, just wanted to make another quick video and then I'll get to work on my scripted content or maybe I'll just upload a bunch of my uh, my other videos that I wanted to uh, rant on on my other channel and make sure you guys uh, check that out and make sure uh, as well I want to uh, mention my, my email Barbarossa with two A's 930 at gmail.com send all relevant links there but this is just going to be a brief video before I return to scripted content this is a comment from Gramblor1, I believe his name is, and I'm going to read you the comment uh, word for word, and the comment was posted in response to the video that I uploaded on the Part 1 Sexodus article. Uh, so the original Sexodus article that got the 16,000 plus comments and uh, however many shares on Facebook, uh, the one that broke records for uh, Breitbart.com. And the article, uh, or the comments in response to that article, or the video I posted in regards to that article was as follows by Graham Lore 1, and I'm going to put a screenshot of, of this as well. It says, I think you're being too hard on this article. For the most part, it's a good article. You can't expect a mainstream website to publish an article that's as, scath as scathing of female nature and frankly male nature as a hardcore MGTOW is. The intelligent reader can read between the lines. If any cultural change comes from the MGTOW phenomenon, we'll have to put up with the quote feminism euphemism for quite some time, if not forever, end quote. So let me just uh, comment on this comment here. Uh, first off, in the beginning part of your comment, sure, I agree with you. Uh, for the most part, yeah, sure, I guess it's, it's a good article. It has some traditionalist leanings. It has some blame it on the feminists and conservatard conspiracy leanings and all of that stuff. But it, on, on the whole, you know, at least men are talking about uh, what's going on. At least men are talking about how they've been marginalized and pushed out of society and how women have generally become uh, so unappealing to men that a lot of men are opting out. Sure, it lays the basic uh, principles or, or points out uh, for any reader to see plainly and without apology, but still uh, the, the explanation or the, uh, the conclusion that's drawn is faulty and uh, not, not, not uh, reflective of reality, in my opinion. So I, I, I agree with you, uh, Gramblor One, who, you know, I don't, I don't know you and I don't have anything uh, against you. And, and I just want to disagree uh, with respect with your last comment or last portion of this comment. It says, the intelligent reader can read between the lines. If any real cultural change comes from the MGTOW phenomenon, we'll have to put up with the feminism euphemism for quite some time, if not forever. And this is where I disagree with you. I think a hu huge, huge, huge part of the problem that we're dealing with right now is uh, the fact that we've erected this civilization, we've built this civilization around pretending, pretending that uh, men, ha men and women have this ethereal bond that we basically have have worshipped as as a religion for uh god knows how long for probably the 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 entire history of western civilization really uh and look where it's gotten us look where it's gotten us we our civilization western civilization is is I know this sounds dramatic, but it's unraveling before our very eyes. It's falling apart. The sham can no longer maintain itself. And this is what happens to every and any civilization that decides to erect its foundation, its megastructure, on uh, a foundation of lies. Eventually, eventually, if you build a civilization off of false truths or half-truths or whatever you want to call it, or noble lies and myths, eventually those lies come out. And what happens then is civilizational decay and possibly even collapse. Um, so I think that it's extremely dangerous to pretend that we can just go on pretending, uh, using the, in your words, feminism euphemism for, in your words, quite some time, if not forever. That is disastrous, right? When you build civilizations off of lies, you get things like, I don't know, what's going on in, in, the, uh, in the Middle East, in, in the Muslim world, right? Where their religion, these people are so invested in their religion and things like the advent of, of modern science and, and, 
you know, the, the industrial age and uh, mechanization and technology and the internet and uh, the, the development of computing systems of information, uh, th th their world, their civilization is falling apart. And look at all of the, the, the violence and destruction and disaster that's being wrought there. Right. These are people that are stuck and stifled in, in a religious worldview that literally controls them. And look at how much suffering is going on in the Middle Eastern world based off of this religion, based off of this adherence to tradition, based off of this uh, this stubborn inability to change their worldview and actually erect a worldview that's based in truth and based in, in adherence to the facts and reality. If we do not change the course of Western civilization to start reflecting the truth in terms of how the genders interact, I don't see us, I don't see us surviving uh, for very much longer. It is imperative that this time we stop lying to ourselves. And so, yes, I, I reject, uh, and again, this isn't Grambler 1, this isn't any kind of... Uh, attack on you personally, but I reject wholeheartedly any any type of proposition that says that we should continue fooling ourselves. And that's what we're doing. We're fooling ourselves. We're lying to ourselves and the path uh, uh, that, that involves continuously lying to, to ourselves going into the future is going to lead us to our own demise and destruction. It's time we start telling the truth to each other. It's time we start reflecting the truth in our civilization and our society. We can't go on like this any any longer. I mean, this is just really just just bullshit MRA nonsense. I mean, you know, I remember when Fido Bogan put out his "Stop Talking About Hypergamy" video or some interview he did with a Voice for Men. I don't remember exactly what it was, but that was the one that prompted my my "Stop Talking About Hypergamy No Way" video, in which he said, you know, uh, things like hypergamy should only be discussed between men, uh, you know, while you're having a beer. Uh, in some bar and, and, and in the political limelight, you should keep it to yourself or keep it hidden or and don't don't say things that, quote, bash women. No, we're done. We're done shutting our mouths. We're done keeping quiet. We're done policing our tone. It's gotten us nowhere. And it will continue to get us nowhere. And not only will it get us nowhere, but it will actually make us regress to a degree. It will actually put us, make us worse off in the long run. We'll be worse off than when we started. I know it sounds dramatic. I know it sounds like collapse porn. But look, Western civilization cannot continue on the trajectory that it's, that it's currently on. We cannot keep lying to ourselves. It's a disaster waiting to happen. It's time we embrace the truth, gentlemen. And that's what I plan to do specifically in my next video. Um, so that's all I have to say right now. Thanks for listening.